Hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's play some more Fallout 4. Let's walk through some more Fallout 4, and I am here back in the Sanctuary. I took care of a whole bunch of business offline, okay, or off camera rather, and uh, I am a rich bitch. Yeah, I cleaned out the workshop of all the, you know, spare armor and weapons and whatnot, and I now have 12,000 caps. I also did a run with my melon farm and took a whack ton of melons over to the Abernathy farm. So I am a rich bitch. So I think um, I'm at the point where um, people are going to, you know, start begging me to stop looting. <laughs> at which point I am also, um, you know, probably at the point where, you know, if you point out that I missed something, it's it's completely moot. Okay, it's completely moot. I'm rich. I can buy my way out of any deficit right now. Okay, so, <laughs> hey. Uh, now, uh, we are now doing a mission for the railroad, Tradecraft. Let's hook this up here. Tradecraft. We have to meet Deacon down by the old highway. Let's just take a little look, see where that is. It's right there. We can either go to the Jabba Brothers Disposal or we can go to the Drumlin Diner and, um, you know, probably get to shot the shit as soon as we arrive. That's probably a better choice, just for the hell of it. And we leveled up again. So. Now I'm at level 16. And hang on, it's got something in my eye here. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I want to get Ninja because this will give me more sneak attack damage. Okay, we're finally eligible for Ninja too. All right, so let's get that. We now do three times normal da damage during sneak attacks. Done and done. Let's get back in the war. Drumlin Diner, here we come. Sorry, Carla. <laughs> For once, there's nobody here. Okay, that's nice. Done, done. Okay, now, our quest marker is that way. There's stuff to loot in here, and I'm still good. I can't help myself. Yay! Oh my gosh! Get the way away! Fuck away from my balls! Freaking mongrel, dude! Mongrel, dude! That was uncool. Very uncool. Yeah, I also got a whack ton of ammo too, as I was doing all my business in Diamond City Market and making several trips there. Um, yeah, I'm loaded up. I got a crap ton of ammo. Let's just take a look at my ammo situation. Yeah, I loaded up particularly on 308 rounds, which are very easy, or rather very difficult to find out in the wasteland. That's the best thing you could buy. And I also bought a few, um, missiles. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. This is one of the wicked shipping, um, trailers that we can open up with the wicked shipping trailer key. Let's just open this up. See what we got here. Usually lots of ammo. Okay, and I'm gonna save uh, room for laser pistols, which we're gonna be picking up during this mission. If I recall correctly, yeah, I knew it. Get them. That's what I'm talking about. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes and let them have it. I'm saving my crit for uh, something a little more important. That silent P-bar, this, this weapon here, this silenced pipe bolt action rifle, I mean like, 
A lot of people look down on pipe weaponry, but this thing has been my workhorse. It's been my bread and butter. This is like it's been doing all the heavy lifting. This thing kicks butt. Totally kicks butt. That's why I bought a lot of ammo. I love you, little silent people. I love you too, Slack. Yeah. Could be some ammo in here. Rad X. Okay, that'll. Whatever. <laughs> uh, we are now within 100 meters of our quest marker. And we're going to be doing. This is basically an escort mission. It's funny how Deacon, if you like, um, max out your affinity, your so called affinity with Deacon. First of all, in case you didn't know, every companion, not every companion, but most companions, um, will give you a bonus if you hang out with them long enough and you say all the right things and, you know, like you keep building up your so called affinity with them. And then um, once you get to maximum affinity, you'll get a bonus. And it's funny how Deacon's maximum affinity, the bonus you get is a sneak attack damage. And he's the worst freaking NPC to sneak with. He's the worst. He's, he's the total numbnut. Aren't you? Aren't you a little numbnut? Deacon, Speak. is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Yeah, okay. What do you think about that, General Badass? I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So okay, and that's pretty much a good signs. idea. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never caught on. Anyway, <laughs> the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Okay, walk softly and carry a big stick. There could be some feral ghouls Find around here. Sign. Right there. That way, eh? Here we go. Here we go. Get some. That's a killer. And if you're wondering why I'm doing 3.4 times sneak attack damage. Hang on one second here. Let me just take care of business. It's on a... <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, I'm in uh, chameleon mode. Hang on, let me get out so we can see the... Uh, yeah. It's on account of uh, Mr. Sandman, okay? As an agent of death itself, you can instantly kill a sleeping person, plus your silenced weapons do an additional 15% sneak attack damage. That's why I'm doing 3.4% or 3.4 times sneak attack damage instead of 3 times sneak attack damage, which is what the ninja perk gives me, okay? Somebody else was asking that <clears throat> when I was at uh, Ninja 1 and I was doing 2.9 times it's sneak attack close. damage. Actually, plastic is good. Here we go, here we go. Here's something. I hear creepy crawly. Here we go. Oh, 
hold up, hold up. Looting here. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Okay. No matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Mine is in the shop. So if he says, like, ain't you got a set of balls? I'm supposed to say mine is in the shop? That sounds kind of funny. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little slocum Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome gum and sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Okay, Ricky Dalton just sounds like a barrel full of lass. <clears throat> well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? As I was just saying. Telling the truth? Yeah, he looks too stupid to be lying, so like, yeah. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Okay, we're on point. Retrace our steps. Good. Hey, when he gets stuck. Okay, now we're on our way to a sewer tunnel, which is right here, which will lead us into a location known as the Lexington Switchboard. Ain't that right, you little numb nut? Huh? Yeah. Come on, step lively. Can't believe he's just like running around, running along with like no problem at all. Okay, so here's the sewer tunnel. Jeez, you can get stuck once. Congratulations! You're coming along. 